my music is a message of love. And I think that's what Christian, being a Christian should be about is showing love. It shouldn't be so much about religion or religious aspects of a faith, but it should be about love. And so that's what I want people to get back to a place of just understanding love and how to love. One issue that I know um, is the HIV and AIDS. It's a big issue here in DC. Um, and I've, you know, I've really have taken a challenge to kind of use my platform to, to tackle that issue. Because I think at the, at the, the base of it, there, there are issues of depression. There are issues that's, that's why the, the disease is, has gotten so out of hand because we haven't dealt with issues. We can talk about awareness. We can talk about protection, but until we deal with the issues that people deal with, of when we do, that's when we'll see a change. More, more recently, I partnered with BLOCKA, it's the Black Leadership Commission on HIV AIDS for DC. Um, and really what it is, is it's, a, it's an organization of, of, of leaders, community leaders. It could be pastors, it could be uh, po politicians. It's these figures in our community who are coming together to say, hey, look, this is an issue that should not be such so taboo, but we need to we need to talk about it. I don't want to just say, okay, let's be aware or let's protect ourselves. I don't want to just say that. I want to take it a little bit deeper and say, okay, why are we behaving this way? Why? Let's. I mean, is it is it is it that you're depressed? Is it that uh, you feel unwanted? What are the reasons that our culture is so plagued by this disease? Why? And I think those are questions that we should ask so that we can start to make a change. Once we start dealing with people and we start loving people, then people can perhaps love themselves to the point where we take responsibility for ourselves. I think in the New Testament, uh, God basically, or, or God speaks through, I think it's Paul, and he basically gives us all these fruits of the Spirit. Uh, there's, there's no love, long suffering, uh, uh, self-control, but he said the greatest of these is love. And so um, I really think, you know, in life we're trying to, we're always trying to bring self-development. We're trying to be better people every day. But it says it right there, the greatest of all of these things is love. So if we can, if we can manage to develop that one thing, love, then I think everything else will just fall into place.